Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, my faithful chicken strippers. Is that going to be a thing? Probably not. So, yeah, still commuting on the diversion. It's now reasonably colder than the last time I actually made a proper vlog. But, um, yeah, still going strong. We haven't had any snow yet which is really good and the diversion has rolled over the 85,000 kilometers on the odometer so that leaves me just 15 shy of the infamous 100,000 I'm pretty confident she's gonna make it I'm pretty confident but um honestly it hasn't been very challenging getting there the diversion has been really good about it, like I dicked it over not too long ago um, with a passenger, kind of the front end, the front wheel slipped away well nearly stationary and uh, yep, just literally fell over bent the um, brake handle and like the brake peg, the brake whatever it's called and um, my left indicator because my passenger swerved his foot over the back of my bike I kind of took out took out the uh, indicator that's basically it that's as far as the damages go Oh, let's call it the um, rear brake pedal. I bent the rear brake pedal. So I had to replace all of that. Um, change the sprockets are definitely on the list. Like they're coming up there. But you know that's just kind of on tires probably. But you know that's just kind of regular maintenance, isn't it? Like I can't really can't really blame the diversion for that. I see a marvelous bike, but the um, the exhausts are definitely an area to uh, improve upon. I mean, I've kind of gotten used to uh, the loud grunt of having, well, basically, no exhaust. <laughs> but um, I'm guessing it's really doing the engine in. That is my assumption. But yeah, definitely an easy cruise to the 100,000 uncertain what I need to get next to kind of do the uh, endurance commute test but maybe a few of my colleagues will have suggestions in that regard because it needs to be a very affordable bike that does 100k that is reasonably reasonably comfortable for daily use and extended rides it would also be very beneficial if maintenance isn't too bad, like the cost of parts and shit. The cheaper I can keep that, the better it'll do in the test. So yeah, suggestions welcome and uh, keep your eyes out for me. Meanwhile, I will spent a few months accumulating that last 15,000. I'll make a proper roundup of all my, all my expenses when um, I'll make a proper roundup of all my expenses once I uh, once I've reached it, and uh, kind of inform you of what the actual running costs were. Because I've kept all the receipts and everything, so that shouldn't be a problem. But yeah. In this update, not quite there yet, but we'll get there, definitely. Anyway, thanks for being a part of this challenge. It's not the challenge normal, it's not the normal YouTube challenge one would expect. And it is one actually, it's not like a YouTube challenge, it's more like a for example, I won't say anything, it's more like a Moto Plus challenge. If you know what I mean. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching. I have been to Chicken Strips. I'll get on with work now. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.